Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be looking at a warning about wanting to be rich. Many people admire the lifestyle of the rich and famous. They think, that's for me. I want money, big houses, limousines, fancy clothes, fancy food, servants. I want the whole lot. They take a look at these t- this type of life and they say, that looks a lot like retirement to me. They don't have to go to work every day. They don't have to slave over uh, some job and to get really little money. I want that. That's for me. But the scriptures warn us against turning our life over to the search for riches. They tell us that money and wealth is not everything. They tell us, in fact, money is very little. In Luke chapter 12, verse 15, Jesus said, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of things which he possesses. Jesus said we need to beware of covetousness. When we go out and try and want to be rich, that very quickly can lead to covetousness, a desire to have what someone else has. That can lead to stealing, jealousy, hatred, and in extreme cases, murder. Covetousness. We need to be aware of that. Remember what 1 Timothy chapter 6 says, the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is. Leads to covetousness. Why do we need to uh, beware of covetousness? Because covetousness is sin. But Jesus also, also gives us another reason. For a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. That's a very important principle. Because no matter how much money, no matter how much possessions we have, when we die, we leave it all behind. That's why that a man's life doesn't consist of these things because we can't take it with us. There is much more to life than money and possessions. If we were to lose all our money and all our possessions, what type of person would we be? Would we be a good, righteous, and trustworthy person? An honest and faithful and loving person? A considerate, unselfish, and kind person? Most of all, would we be obedient, as in obedient to God? Christians should be able to to answer yes to all of these questions. It is not wrong to be rich. But Jesus warns us that it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter into heaven. Why? Because usually in order to be rich, we have to put God second in our lives. We have to work hard We have to work long hours, and sometimes we may have to do some things that would be considered sinful in order to get our riches. Again, it's not wrong to be rich, but Jesus warns us against seeking after money, because in the end, we can't take it with us. We will be judged not by how rich we are, but whether or not we have been obedient to God. If you are not a Christian, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you. We would love for you to hear the gospel, believe it, and obey it so that you have the hope of eternal life in Christ Jesus. If you'd like to set up a study with us, you can reach us by email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. All are welcome. You will be welcomed by everyone here, and you will hear the Bible taught. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, or if you have any general questions about what you have heard today, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the daily podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. 
Please join me, the Lord willing, tomorrow when we will be discussing how a Christian's sins are forgiven. Until you listen again, keep searching the scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.